the goal is to provide actuaries with more information so that they can be a part of the insurance industry discussion that's going on right now with regards to potential racial bias in all aspects of insurance practices and policies. And since actuaries are experts in insurance pricing, we really wanted to make sure that our actuaries are able to participate and lend their expertise in, in the area of pricing of insurance in this issue. When we talk about in fairness in insurance, Often the discussion goes to what should we take away in order to be more fair. So exam for an example of that would be, you know, prohibiting a certain rating factor in order to increase fairness. Um, what was surprising and what, what is uh, mentioned in one of the papers is, you know, we looked at the credit scoring system that underlies a lot of financial services, mortgage lending and other lending sectors. And they're really having some success with adding more information into credit scoring models, information that really hasn't been used in credit scoring before, like rent payments and utility payments and um, banking, checking in savings account transactions as a way to increase the accessibility of those credit scoring models to provide credit to more people and to, to make people more, um, have provide more credit information that allows them to be served in a way that they weren't before. So in that case, more information has actually made things more fair. And maybe that is something that we can utilize in the insurance industry as well and in insurance pricing. Of course, we hope that this information can be helpful. I think the one caveat is that, you know, we aren't prescribing that the insurance industry take one approach or another. We're really trying to educate our members and our community on a lot of the options that are out there. So one of the papers focuses on statistical methods that can be used to measure uh, bias in, in models. And even within that paper, there are multiple approaches that one can take. So what we really hope is that the insurance industry, that our members and our community take these as a starting point, as inspiration to test out these, these different approaches to innovate and think about what will work for them or what will work in this particular situation um, and really just have a, have a stepping stone, you know, somewhere to start from to continue to think about this issue and, and get creative about what we can do um, to understand better whether or not racial bias is present in different situations and then to subsequently address it if it is.